since there are a lot of curves out there which are defined as functions of x, I wanted to talk about how uh, you can parameterize such curves. And I'll do that by example. All right, give a system of parametric equations. Uh, and they should be representing the curve y equals the natural log of x, and we only want the portion of that curve between the points 1 comma 0 to e squared comma 2. And this is a very simple question. There's no need to draw a picture other than I want to illustrate what's going on behind the scenes. So behind the scenes, we have the curve, y equals natural log of x, which goes to the point 1, 0, and e squared 2, and it looks like so, with an intercept down here at, y is equal, at x is equal to 0. And import, importantly, uh, importantly, we want to only deal with that portion of the curve. So I'll mark that special here. I want this portion of the curve. All right, so let's see here. We've got, and I'll mark this, this is at x is equal to one, this is at x is equal to e squared, zero, and two. So this is what's going on behind the scenes, but the solution to this problem is very, very straightforward. Uh, I want parametric equations, which means I need to have x and y both equal to functions of t. And the trick is if you have y as a function of x, we'll simply just replace your x with t. So if x is equal to t, then y would be equal to the natural log. Well, it's of x, but I can replace that x with t. And there's my system of parametric equations. The only thing to add in is that if I don't give bounds for my t, if t can equal anything, then I would also be including points down here and points up here. And I only want the t, I only want the x and y values on this future piece of the curve right here. And so to handle that, I just need to say that my t value should be bounded between the same thing the x values were bounded between. Since x and t are the same thing, and x is allowed to be anything from 1 to e squared, I'll let t range from 1 to e squared. And there is my system of parametric equations. You could do your txy chart if you want to confirm that if you were to plug in things like between 1 uh, and uh, e squared, you would get points on the curve. 1 would get you x is 1, y is natural log of 1 is 0, e would get you x is e, y is natural log of e is 1, that would be this point right here, and then e squared, you get you e squared, and natural log of e squared is 2, and those are the three points, and they are on the portion of the curve that we need. Uh, so very straightforward. All you need to do, replace your x with a t, and then, uh, and then do that in your function for y, and have your t be bounded between the same values as your x.